Yep, we got me, Gunner. We got Isabel. Uh oh. All right, Johnny SQ. Uh, <laughs> what is that fucking skin? Oh my god, that that voice. Oh no. Oh god, this is. <laughs> Johnny, why did you make this me? <laughs> why does it use the guitar as a gun? Why, why a lot of things, really? Uh, <laughs> in any case, yep, Battle of the Projectile Zoners. Johnny, no stranger to uh, camping people out, uh, just walling people out with projectiles. I've actually been playing a little bit of Me Gunner, so I can talk about uh, what some of these things do. And, um, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, Johnny just likes throwing projectiles at people over and over and hoping that they don't react. Gets most of his damage that way, actually. <laughs> um, big thing about me, Gunner, especially as opposed to, like, pretty much every other zoner in the game, is me, Gunner has, uh, especially with the build that he uses, has, like, nothing, nothing notable up close aside from up to, kind of. Um... You know, it has like F smash from mid distance, but close range, he has like nothing good out of shield. So it has to rely on rolling. Um, and then also, uh, it's, this uh, version is like liable to get edge guarded. So characters with like an easy time doing that, um, that can just kill off of their edge guards. Uh, Me Gunner really does not like dealing with. Lucina is a pretty good example of that, by, for example. It's like you just cover like all the angles if he goes low. And then even covering high isn't that big a deal because you don't want to be above Lucina. But of course, all of this doesn't actually matter if you can't get in against Johnny's uh, Me Gunner in the first place, which is something that Shooty seems to be struggling to do at the moment. This is looking like a three stock. It's like, this is looking. Despite, like, they were kind of going back and forth at the beginning, but, you know, it does not seem like Shooty uh, knows how to deal with uh, a lot of this. And to Johnny's credit, he's being very overwhelming with these projectiles, and that's a three stock. Wow. This is winter semis, too. The me costume is disturbing. I do agree. I agree with that, Bebop. Like, Johnny's being pretty relentless. Um with the uh, projectile spam. But also a thing to be noted is that Shooty is also playing in such a way that's like kind of uh, letting Johnny do that. You know, you gotta get close enough to a point where, you know, you gotta actually threaten uh, punishing him for that or rushing uh, me gunner down such that he can't get away with doing that. And it's really, really tedious to do that, but uh, your alternative is you're never going to be able to do anything against him, so. Unless you just have a better wall of projectiles to use, like Snake. Hmm. <laughs> Apparently, it's Shitty's time to clap back, according to Anything But Blue, aka, um, I forget, or aka Space Jesus, aka Bebop, aka Mason, aka Mason of the Sea, aka Resident Lucas main number seven? Yeah, seven. We have more Lucases than that, but he's like the seventh one, probably. 
It's not a rank, it's the order in which you came to the scene. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> we got game two, Shooty and uh, Johnny. No character counter picks, but Yoshi's is the pick. Bebop a little bit hurt that I he thought that I ranked him number seven. Bebop, you're like definitely the second best Lucas in Siwa, so. Third at worst. Uh <laughs> Oh shit. I the costume counter pick. I did yeah, I didn't notice that. Oh wow. Uh oh. Is this costume counter pick gonna work out for Johnny? Right now! Right now it seems to be doing wonders for Shooty. Also, why is a counter pick on Shooty's end, by the way? Yoshi's story, a lot less ground to work with. Um, plays to the idea of getting a lot closer, right? Which, to be fair, Isabel isn't amazing at, but he's, like, Isabel in particular is a lot better at mid-range than Me Gunner is. Because Me Gunner's mid-range options are actually kind of lacking. F Smash is alright for ground cover, but, uh, I mean, most characters on this aren't really on the ground that often in this game. And then you have like forward air as well. Uh, and your projectiles actually aren't. A lot of projectiles aren't actually safe at mid distance too. Which is something that I think a lot of people don't realize about this character. Is there's something I know a lot of people struggle with Johnny's me gunner. Uh, and he's gonna hate that I'm telling people this, by the way. But uh, okay, when he uses that move, when he uses uh, the grenade launch, look how long he actually can't move after it. Like, pay close attention to how long he actually can't move after that. It's pretty like, yeah, like he's stuck in that for a decently long amount of time. Ooh, but not so long that he can't get that stealth shot off and take the first stock. Okay, and there's the grab. Goes for the up throw, but air dodges through and then catches the air dodge with the F smash. What a frame trap. Uh, that's gotta be intentional, right? I didn't know that was an actual frame trap. That's pretty cool. Oh, to be fair, that would only that wouldn't have worked if he had the other way. And Shooty taking the stock with the umbrella, keeping himself in this, already doing better than he did in the last game. Unfortunately, still a big percent deficit separates him from getting the win. He's got to make something happen sooner rather than later if he wants to see this uh, go to a game three. Johnny content to still keep walling out with projectiles. Oh, did he just do a little teabag? Was that intentional? Johnny, is Johnny taunting? <laughs> um, oh, that dash attack, not quite gonna kill yet, but a lot of stuff will start killing now. Down B does not yet. Uh, neutral B will kill right now. Yeah. Johnny toxic. <laughs> That's what the SQ stands for. Toxic. Um. <laughs> But yeah, another thing, like, that's important to note, especially if your characters aren't su sufficiently quick, uh, or disjointed, really, but, uh, some rushdown characters can alleviate this a little bit, is don't attack straight away after jumping over a projectile, right? You know, you've already won the neutral interaction by closing the distance when you jump over one of his projectiles, because again, Me Gunner's not good at close range and mid range. So, you know, he's already lost something by you jumping over that. And if you just try to attack right away, well, he's probably just going to shield or roll away, and you're going to lose all the position that you just got. It's like, you got to be more patient when you're fighting me, Gunner. Uh, and it's going to lead to, in the long run, less interactions of having to actually deal with this wall of projectiles. It's the up throw. Hey, 
I was reading uh, fall through the platform with that up smash and that down B that's gonna kill that's 2-0 Johnny progressing into winners finals For the record, that was not a teabag. I don't believe you. So guys, what do we think? Do we think he was trying to go into the platforms, or do we think uh, he was trying to teabag? I think it's a lot funnier if we all say he was trying to teabag, by the way. 